When it comes to heartwarming moments, few things can compete with a leisurely walk in the countryside with a beloved furry friend. Sarah Ferguson, affectionately known as Fergie, recently shared an adorable video that perfectly encapsulates this sentiment. In the clip, the Duchess of York can be seen strolling through the lush green fields, accompanied by none other than one of the late Queen's corgis, making it a truly enchanting scene. Fergie, always one to make a statement, donned an elegant velvet royal blue blazer paired with a patterned emerald scarf and a chic black skater skirt. Her choice of comfortable slip-on flat shoes added an air of practicality to the ensemble, as she and her friend Kat Jezensko took in the serene countryside. Their conversation turned to charitable causes, a topic close to Fergie's heart. The adorable corgi, Sandy or Muck, the Queen's faithful companion, panted contently as it trailed behind the duo. The sight of this loyal canine following the footsteps of a royal figure like Fergie is enough to melt even the coldest hearts. But this heartwarming walk wasn't just about enjoying nature's beauty in canine company. Fergie used the opportunity to shine a light on a cause dear to her heart. Her friend Lady Bathurst's charitable bike ride from Land's End to John O'Groats. As she looked around for Cat's retired Border Force Spaniel, an energetic English Springer Spaniel, she said, Jessie, you're the one. We're here for you because you're so clever. Fergie expressed her wish to be in Cornwall to witness Lady Bathurst embark on her incredible journey, a journey she herself has intended to join before her breast cancer diagnosis. Fergie's unwavering spirit and determination to support her friend's charity endeavours, even in the face of personal health challenges, is truly commendable. In a poignant moment, she revealed her breast cancer diagnosis and the successful single mastectomy she underwent at King Edward VIII's hospital in London. The fact that she is currently recuperating at Royal Lodge, Windsor, where she lives with her ex-husband, Prince Andrew, showcases the enduring bond between them despite their separation of nearly 30 years ago. Fergie, always one to make a difference, encouraged her followers to support Lady Bathurst's charity. The National Foundation for Retired Service Animals, NFRSA. She explained that the foundation provides vital assistance to retired service animals and their families by covering vet and medical bills, ensuring these loyal companions can stay with their families instead of being rehomed. The foundation's remarkable contribution of over £30,000 in grants in its first year reflects the organisation's commitment to supporting retired service animals. Accompanied by Kat, Shosensko and Jessie, Fergie left no stone unturned in motivating her followers to rally behind Lady Bathurst's courageous journey. She called upon everyone to support hashtag NFRSA Big Bike Challenge and promised daily updates on at NFRSA underscore official, making it easier for everyone to stay connected and informed. The response from Fergie's followers was overwhelmingly positive, with messages of support and admiration pouring in. Comments like, lovely to see you well, bless you, looking well, and Sarah, Duchess of York is so sweet, echoed the sentiments of countless well-wishers. Fergie's commitment to charitable causes and her resilience in the face of personal health challenges undoubtedly strike a chord with many. The connection between Fergie and the Queen's Corgis run deep. When the Queen passed away last September, Fergie and Prince Andrew adopted the last surviving Corgis. To mark the first anniversary of the Queen's death, Fergie shared a heartwarming snapshot of herself beaming alongside both royal pups on Instagram. In her caption, she expressed her joy at seeing Sandy and Muck thriving under her care, a responsibility she considers an immense honour. Fergie's journey with the Corgis began earlier this year and she acknowledged the dog's status as national treasures who have been impeccably trained. Integrating them with her existing pack of five Norfolk Terriers has been an adventure in itself, with Fergie humorously noting how the carpet moves as I move, but how she's grown accustomed to it. 
These corgis were a gift to the Queen from Prince Andrew and his daughters, Princess Beatrice and Eugenie, following the Duke of Edinburgh's passing. Over the years, the Queen's corgis were treated like royalty themselves, with their own rooms featuring elevated wicker baskets and meals prepared by a dedicated chef each evening.